dear teachers. I would like to tell you about uh, the project that we've been doing uh, today. It was actually a spur of a moment thing because it started to rain and the snow has been melting so much lately that I decided we were gonna start looking for spring treasures. Now, what we call spring treasures are any object that we we discover were hidden under the snow during winter and that we kind of uncover as it starts to melt. So we did have to put our snowshoes on, we went through the woods, a little bit of a tantrum because most of the kids are tired of wearing their snowshoes and I get it, but we had no choice and they very quickly realized that we have to put them on. So we put our snowshoes on, we're walking through the woods and they were fascinated to find all sorts of things around them that were covered, that had melted and that were uncovered once the snow had melted. So I told them I had this big Ziploc bag. When you see a, a spring treasure, let me know and we'll put it in a bag. So they, we collected them, then they had fun outdoors and it really started to downpour. So we went, came back and we took our activity inside. I would have wanted to do it outdoors, but we had our snow suits on. So we really had to come back inside because we didn't put our raincoats or rain suits today. So when we came back inside, I really let them, I told them you have all of these different things. So they have, there were their pine cones, there's a little piece of grass, leaves, rocks, um, twigs, all of these things, lichen and moss. You have to make two categories. And I just let them go. And it was fascinating to see them just debating. This goes in this pile, that goes in that pile. And then after questioning them and questioning them, they came up with, let's put all the branches together. But then they didn't know what the other pile was because there was lichen and this piece of grass and then leaves. So then another child said, well, why don't we put all things wood? So then they put all of the things that were made of wood in a pile. But then it left the lichen and the rocks. And so they kept the rocks in the other pile. And then we also had an apple thing. So they said all thing trees. So everything that was trees, so pine cones, the branches. They also found like a, a deux par quatre there a wood, in the woods, a leaves everything even the moss they decided that moss can be found on trees so it was everything trees but then there was this little fellow he has nothing to do with a tree so they realized at this moment on that there was something they couldn't put their words uh, a, a word on it but there was something with the pile made of rocks nothing but rocks and the pile made of everything trees and just by questioning them i never said it they realized that all of these things were once living things and the rocks were not. So the first pile was living things and they were able to put the grass in and the other pile was non-living things for the rocks. And they were all excited about that. And they asked if tomorrow we could go outside to the beach and do the same activity, see if there are living and non-living things at the beach. So it was really fascinating to see that they figured this out by themselves and they were very thrilled to want to repeat the activity. And I think knowing the difference between living and non-living things is quite important and it makes, it gives another value to the world that are, surrounds us. And then we could, we'll, we'll dig further in the man-made things or nature-made things. And what do we make with living things? What do we make with non-living things? It's all a uh, part of a questions that they really seem to be interested in. So that was really interesting to let them find their own answers just by questioning them and by letting them manipulate things that they found from outdoors. Because you can really have lots of fun even in the spring, although it's rainy and snowy and whatnot. This was a, a good activity to do for um, those days when we're waiting for the snow to leave. There's actually fun things to discover under the snow. So thank you for watching and tune in later. Bye.